Good afternoon to you. This is EZMAC 311. If you don't remember the last video or just haven't seen it, we took on Alduin. And now we are headed to Dragon Reach to try to capture a dragon. Dragon Search. Sorry. I think it's called Dragon Search or Dragon Reach. I don't know. One or the other. All right, here we are. Let's do this. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right is Jarl. I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal housecarl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. Wow, has it really I'll been that long? I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Back to business, Proventus. We still have a city to defend. Yes, May the gods watch over. Uh, I must have misheard you. I thought you asked me to help you trap a dragon in my palace. I'm sorry, but I can't do it. We'll just have to keep fighting the dragons as best we can. According to legend, Although I never thought to put the tale to the test. Jarl Olaf One-Eye it was, who later became High King. They say he shouted it into submission in single combat atop Mount Anthor, and brought it back to Whiterun. Numenex was the dragon's name. That's his skull decorating the main hall. With good planning and constant vigilance. Even now, my court wizard, Farangar, continues his research into ways we might drive back these terrors. We must also have ample reserves of water to combat the fires that will surely spread after an attack. But our greatest weapon? Courage. For if we cannot kill the beast, we must at least have the tenacity to drive it back. Until brave heroes step forward to destroy these monsters, that is the best we can do. If it's the war you're referring to, I'm on the side of white, no doubt. Ulfric I don't stole care about the, the war. Day, but that day, no doubt, he thought it was the only way to make his point. And also, because he knew he could. What you're asking for is insane. Impossible. You want me to let a dragon into the heart of my city with the threat of war on my doorstep? There must be another way. The risk is too great. Alduin, the world eater himself. But how can we fight him? Doesn't his return mean it's the end times? I don't know about such things, but I heard the Greybeard summon you. That's good enough for me. Now what's this nonsense about trapping a dragon in my palace? I want to help you, Dragonborn. And I will. But I need your help first. Ulfric and General Tullius are both just waiting for me to make a wrong move. Do you think they will sit idle while the dragon is slaughtering my men and burning my city? No. I can't risk weakening the city while we are under the threat of enemy attack. I'm sorry. Then I would be glad to help you with your mad dragon trapping scheme. But getting both sides to agree to a truce will be difficult at this point. The bitterness has gone too deep. Maybe. Hmm. What of the Greybeards? 
They are respected by all Nords. High Hrothgar is neutral territory. If the Greybeards were willing to host a peace council, then maybe Ulfric and Tullius would have to listen. I, Dragonborn. Maybe you can stop the dragons and this war into the bargain. Now, if you All don't right. mind, I've got a city to keep. Here's my thane. The Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor. Looks like you've already got someone with you. Yeah, you suck anyways. <laughs> Let's go talk to the Greybeards. We heard the Dragon Wren shout from here. You defeated him? I feared as much. I thought it was him we saw flying east after the battle. We are not warriors. What is overlooked in the Dragonborn is not permitted to any other followers of the Way of the Voice. You misunderstand our authority. The Greybeards have never involved themselves in political affairs. I see. The dragon will lead you to Alduin, but without the Jarl's help. Parthenax has made the decision to help you. This is the road we have to walk. Even the Greybeards must bend to the winds of change, it seems. So be it. Tell Ulfric and General Tullius that the Greybeards wish to speak to them. We will see if they still remember us. Win. Got you. This quest has a lot of friggin' running around to do. <sighs> I'm not interested, Jari. It doesn't matter how many Quite times you ask. You might want to rethink that. Wanderer like you must have to plan your tales for them. But I'm afraid of the visit here. Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Vampire hunters. Go fiddling with any locks around here. We're going to have a real problem. Are my men now giving free reign to anyone who wanders into the castle? Do you have some reason to be here, citizen? Have we? Oh, oh, of course. You were at Helgen. One of the prisoners, if I recall correctly. Hmm, I suppose that's true. Fine. Why don't you have a chat with Legate Ricca? I suspect we might have use for someone resourceful like you. Not many survived Helgen. Besides, I'm sure your being imprisoned was all a terrible misunderstanding. I'm telling you, Ulfric's Speak with planning Legit an attack Ricca. on Whiterun. The Greybeards. What do those old hermits want with me? 
Why, there's nothing to discuss as long as that traitor Ulfric is in arms against his rightful emperor. They are getting to be a problem, but I wasn't sent to Skyrim to fight dragons. My job is to quell this rebellion, and I intend to do just that, dragons or no dragons. I'll be the judge of that. Besides, by all reports, the Stormcloaks are suffering just as much as we are from these dragon attacks. Uh, you may have a point. I'm always surprised by how seriously the Nords take these things. Yes, yes, fine, I'll come to this Greybeard Council. For all the good it will do. He'd be insane to try. He doesn't have the men. That's not what my scouts report, sir. Every day. What do you need? Go to thinking. Do you see how Do the door is spelled D O U R? No <laughs> That's pretty funny. Castle door. I used to be an adventurer like you. I noticed that going I took in. an arrow in the knee. Stables. All right. Wait, what's the place called? I gotta go. I think Solitude. No, that was where I just was. Windhelm. Okay. I can take you to any of the whole. Where do you want to go? Um, star, solitude, wind. Climbing back, and we'll be off. Ever been to Windhelm? Oldest city in Skyrim by some account. They say the big old palace there was built by Yeez. Eat our food, you pollute our city with your stink, and you refuse to help the storm post. Alright, here we go. A straight answer. He's a true Nord. He'll come around. Don't be so sure of that. We've intercepted I remember you. From you were at Helgen with us. Come to join the war. Speak with Galmar. He handles the new recruits. I'm sorry to hear that. If you change your mind, speak with Galmar. What does bring you to me? It's about time they turned their gaze from the heavens back to our bleeding homeland. What do they want? I have the greatest respect for the Greybeards, of course. And the dragon attacks are a growing plague. But the political situation is still delicate. Not all the Jarls are fully committed to supporting me as High King. I can't afford to appear weak. I can't agree to this unless Tullius himself will be there.
Alduin, the world eater of song and legend. If that's true, we're all doomed anyway. And if it isn't true, well, then the fight to free Skyrim goes on. Either way, I don't see the use in talking to the Empire. You speak truly, Dragonborn. Sometimes the grubby business of politics clouds my eyes. Besides, it will be good to see High Rothgar again. Yes, I'll give Tullius one more chance to quit Skyrim with his tail between his legs. And what would you have me do? If he's not with us, he's against us. We know. Alright. So I think that's everybody we had to talk to. Violence are gathered here in these halls whose very stones are dedicated to peace. I should not have agreed to host this council. The Greybeards have no business involving ourselves in such matters. Peace? <laughs> I doubt it. They may put their weapons down for a moment, but only to gather strength for the next bloodletting. They are not yet tired of war. Far from it. Do you know the ancient Nord word for war? Season unending. And so it has proved. But regrets are pointless. Here we are. Take your seat at the council table. And let us see what wisdom we can find among these warriors of Skyrim. Now that everyone is here, please take your seats so we can begin. I hope that we have all come here no. in the spirit you of- you insult us by bringing her to this negotiation? Your chief Talos hunter? That didn't take long. Diplomat. Here, here. I have every right to be at this negotiation. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. She's part of the Imperial delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please. If we have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input on this matter. By Izmir's beard. The nerve of those Imperial bastards, eh? To think that I would sit down at the same table with that. Thou more bitch. Either she walks or I do. Maybe so, but bringing her here is a deliberate provocation. Talius needs to know I won't be pushed around. Feels like a mistake to me, but I'll bow to your judgment on this. 
But she is to observe, nothing more. We are not negotiating with her. Is that clear? Elfric, why so hostile? After all, it's not the Thalmor that's burning your farms and killing your sons. She's supposed to be on our side? You know exactly... No. Not this time. Now that that's settled, may we proceed? I have something to say first. Here we go. The only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the dragon menace. There's nothing else to talk about. Unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule over the free people of Skyrim. I knew he wouldn't be We're able to We're here to arrange a temporary truce to allow the Dragonborn here to deal with the dragons, nothing more. I consider even talking to the Empire a generous gesture. Are you done? Did you just come here to make speeches, or can we get down to business? Yes, let's get this over with. <clears throat> Are we ready to proceed? Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, this council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar, and do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace in Skyrim. Who would like to open the negotiations? Yes, let's get down to it. We want control of Markar. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? Jarl Elisif. General, oh, this is Hamlet. outrageous. You can't be taking this demand seriously. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Elisif, I said I'd handle it. Ulfric, you can't seriously expect us to give up Markarth at the negotiating table. You hope to gain in council what you've been unable to take in battle, is that it? I'm sure Jarl Ulfric does not expect something for nothing. Yes, that'd be entirely What would the Empire character. want in return? Wait, General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that... traitor? This is how the Empire repays us for our loyalty? Enough. First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. I think it's a waste of time. You are a traitor to the Empire, and deserve a traitor's death. But I at least will negotiate in good faith. Since we're all here at your request, I'd like to hear what you think Markarth is worth. <coughs> hmm. The Rift would help secure our communications with Cyrodiil and threatened Ulfric's southern flank. You heard the man, Ulfric. We've made you a fair offer. Are you serious about these talks, or are you just here to posture? I expected better from you, Dragonborn. I came here in good faith, and now it seems you help the Empire at every turn. As for you, General Tullius, I see now that Garmar was right. Talking to the Empire is just as useless as ever. If you think you can hold Markarth, you're as deluded as your Emperor when he signed away our freedom to Lothalmor. Skyrim will never again bow to your false empire! Let's go, Galmar. I should have listened to you in the first place. You always were a fool, Ulfric. You're no better at diplomacy than you are in the battlefield. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pity disagreement? Here you sit arguing about nothing, while the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Is he with you, Delphi? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. He is with me. And I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Alduin has returned. The World Eater. Even now, he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? A very pretty speech. But what does Shut it have up. to do with a... If he's right about Aldwin, we both have just as much to lose here, Tullius. Remember that. 
Now, back to the matter at hand. Don't hand me a mug of sheep's piss and call it me. These terms are still not acceptable. I'm sure you have something in mind. Damn right we do. You surrender Falkreath to us. Sidgir steps down, and Dengir of Stun resumes the Yarlship. Where do these demands stop, Ulfric? Do you expect me to surrender all of Skyrim? It seems I have no choice but to let the Dragonborn decide. Although I'm starting to doubt your fairness. What say you, Dragonborn? Spoken like a true son of Skyrim. I suppose that's the fairest deal we're likely to get. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, these are the terms currently on the table. Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces, Jarl Igmund will step down, and Thangvor Silverblood will become the Jarl of Markarth. The Stormcloaks will withdraw from the Rift, allowing Imperial troops unhindered access. Jarl Leila Lawgiver will step down, and Maven Blackbriar will become the Jarl of Riften. Falkreath will be turned over to Ulfric, and Dengir of Stoon will return as Jarl. <coughs> you both agree to this? The Sons of Skyrim will live up to their agreements, as long as the Imperials hold to theirs. What about you, Ellison? Are these terms to your liking? Speak up! I'm sure General Tullius is waiting to do your bidding. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Ellison. I appreciate your loyalty. The Empire can live with these terms, yes, for a temporary truce, until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. After that, Ulfric, there will be a reckoning. Count on it. Come on, Dalmar. We have a lot of work to do. Giving up Markarth is a heavy price for this truce, Dragonborn. I hope it was worth it. I'm afraid there's a problem. A serious one. I've discovered who the Greybeard's leader really is. All well and good, but did you know that he was Alduin's chief lieutenant in ancient times? Responsible for terrible atrocities. It's true that his crimes are long in the past, but justice does not count the passage of years. The Blades have been hunting him for centuries, but he was protected by the Greybeard's and then the Emperor's. Justice demands that he die for his crimes. Until he is dead, I'm afraid my oath as a blade prevents me from offering you aid and comfort. I anticipated the problem. While you were arranging this meeting, I was busy in the library of Skyhaven Temp, an unguessed trove of lost lore. But the important thing is that the Blades recorded many of the names of dragons they slew. Cross-referencing this with Delphine's map of dragon burial sites, I believe I've identified one of the dragons that Alduin has raised up. Uh, don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power, shouts. By calling the dragon with a voice, he will hear you wherever he might be. He's not compelled to, but dragons are prideful by nature and loath to refuse a challenge. Your voice in particular is likely to intrigue this dragon after your victory over Aldrin. I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist investigating your call. Ah, indeed. I'm no master of the voice like these worthy gentlemen, but it is written here in this scroll. Od Arvin, winged snow hunter, as I read it. Dalgruf, I assume you are familiar with the Dragonborn plan. Yes, I'm ready to do my part. Just to say the word, and my men will help you spring this plan. But the difficulty remains. 
How to... Yes? What is it? Goodbye, then. Alright, so it looks like we're going to Dragon Age. Ooh, man. That was a long council. <sighs> know what you're probably saying this game has a lot of talking and it does a whole lot of talking What do you need, my Thane? We're ready, Dragonborn. Just say the word. May the god, as I promised. My men stand ready. The great chains are oiled. We wait on your word. <laughs> my men know what to do. Make sure you do your part. I'm putting my city in your hands. All right. Greybeards have arranged a truce between the storm cloaks and Imperials. Let's try this. Never really trapped a dragon before, but we'll try it. We'll try it. So I gotta get the shout ready. That went a lot easier than I thought. I've never played this game. That was pretty cool. I thought I had a feeling I had to lure him in. You, Bonar, you went to a great deal of trouble to put me in this humiliating position. In Sir Alduin, hmm? no doubt you want to know where to find Alduin. Renik Vaza, an apt phrase. Alduin Boval. One reason I came to your call was to test your thorn for myself. Many of us have begun to question Alduin's lordship, whether his thorn was truly the strongest. Among ourselves, of course, Muni Maie, none were yet ready to openly defy him. Once Lord Croesus, innumerable pardons, I digress. He has traveled to Sovngarde to regain his strength, devouring the Silesure, the souls of the mortal dead, 
a privilege he jealously guards. His door to Sovereign Guard is at Skaldafin, one of his ancient fanes high in the eastern mountains. Minduran pa ok midove navarantil. I surely do not need to warn you that all his remaining strength is marshaled there. Zu lost ofan hinland. Now that I have answered your question, you will allow me to go free? Um? Serve you? No. Need id. If and when you defeat Alduin, I will reconsider. Hmm, Croesus. There is one... Detail about Skaldafen I neglected to mention. Only this. You have the Thurm of a Dova, but without the wings of one, you will never set foot in Skaldafen. Of course, I could fly you there, but not while imprisoned like this. Onikan Korav Gain Mirad. It is wise to recognize when you only have one choice. And you can trust me. Zuni Tarudis. Alduin has proven himself unworthy. Sweet, to I get to ride a dragon. I go my own way now. Free me. And I will carry you to Skaldafin. I can't believe that worked. You sure about that? You want to let that dragon loose after all the trouble to catch him in there? I would be most appreciative if you would. Your funeral. Someone else is going to have to help you get him back in there again. Get ready to open the trap. Knowledge. This seems like a really bad idea to me. Carry on, soldier. This is all part of the Dragonborn's plan. Are you ready to see the world as only a Dover can? Alright, I'm gonna end the video right here and then we'll start up again uh, in a little bit.